Top Florida. I'm Eric Yancey. And I'm Alex Vinny. I hope everybody had a great weekend. Thanks so much for joining us on this Monday. You know, the big story this morning continues to be Hurricane Debbie. We're tracking the Category 1 storm close to making landfall on the Big Bend Coast. The businesses and homeowners in the Florida Panhandle bracing for impact. About 10 million people are in this storm's path. And we're already getting a glimpse at some of those impacts. Cars seen stalled out as some roads are already underwater across Florida. Some areas expected to see up to 20 inches of rain. Weather Authority meteorologist Brandon Orr tracking Debbie this morning and has the very latest for us right now. Good morning, Brandon. Hey, good morning. We got the latest 5 a.m. advisory in from the Hurricane Center. Max winds at 80 miles per hour. It is just a couple hours away from making landfall. Uh, the good news is I think it's run out of time to strengthen any more than what it is right now. So I think it'll cap at around 80 miles per hour, if not maybe 85 by the time it makes landfall here in the next couple of hours. You can see the outer edge of the eye wall has made it to the coastline. This area of the coast that large unpopulated, but there's a few towns not too far inland that'll take a pretty good hit from this. I think it has a little over 20 miles to go until the center of the eye hits the coastline. That's when officially this thing makes landfall. This is the closest camera I can find to the landfall point at this point. It's the little town. It's called Cross City. It's not too far from getting the outer edge of the eye wall to move in, and you can see just how windy it is. I'm surprised the power's still on there, getting some gusts of hurricane force already along the coastline of the Big Bend area of Florida. That's where hurricane warnings are in place. The storm makes a very slow turn to the east and moves over eastern uh, Georgia into the Carolinas in the coming days where we're expecting upwards of more than 20 inches of rainfall. Otherwise, surge is going to be a big story in the Big Bend area because you can kind of see this area is like a bay, all that water and the storm surge kind of funnels in and has nowhere to go except inland. That's that six to 10 foot storm surge you're expecting up there. For us, fewer effects from Debbie today. Still got some moisture left over, so we're getting some tropical downpours and you can see some of these storms that are riding up the coastline heads up in Miami Beach. We got some more headed your way. Some water spouts possible with these Broward. It looks like most of those storms are to your east and have moved offshore, and that's how a lot of these are going to be at any given point. Most of us will be dry. I don't expect a rainy day today, just an occasional shower or thunderstorm nearby. Higher chances of rain tomorrow. We'll talk about that and some heat in that seven day forecast ahead.